Hey folks, happy Monday to you. It is Monday, August 1st, and we have a new prayer calendar. You can get this prayer calendar in the um, uh, a link in the dialogue box underneath this video. You can get hard copies on campus um, here at the church, so we uh, welcome you. And uh, this month, uh, the month of August, the theme is discipleship. Um, and so this first week, we're working on prayers. Um, so these weeks, we're going to be focused on prayers, then presence, then service, and then witness. So first, we start with prayers. Um, and uh, Monday, August 1st, the passage is First Thessalonians um, chapter 5. Uh, verses 16 through 18. So I uh, turn there. Thessalonians um, is a little uh, book, uh, just four or five pages long um, in the uh, New Testament, towards the end of the New Testament. So go there. Thessalonians is one of the um, books that Paul wrote. Uh, he wrote it to the, the people in Thessalonica. And we believe that First Thessalonians is one of the earliest um, of the letters that Paul wrote um, and, uh, so it's exciting to be able to read it. First Thessalonians five sixteen through 18. All right. Says this rejoice always pray without ceasing. That's it. Rejoice always pray without ceasing. Now I always warn, um, well, I, I do a lot of training for, uh, new clergy in our conference. Um, and there's this sort of 10 principles, of leadership class that I often teach um, and often asked to teach. Um, and one of the principles is about spiritual life. And I always say that uh, there's a lot of people who uh, point to this as their um, sort of way for uh, prayer, pray without ceasing. Um, but let's, let's talk about really the best way that that could happen. So some people would say, I'm always like, I don't have a set prayer time. I'm always praying. I'm on the freeway. I'm praying. I, you know, before I eat, I pray before, you know, I see someone who's homeless. I pray that that's what they mean by prayer without ceasing. And I think the fear is that um, to, to have a prayer life in that way is good. But if it's only that way, then it really becomes um, a prayer of convenience. So when you remember to pray without ceasing, then then you pray. Um, and so I'm always encouraging folks to to have a sort of set prayer times, set prayer rituals. So it's not just whenever I feel like it, because sometimes you feel like it a lot, and sometimes you don't feel like it for a very long time. And then we get out of the rhythm of prayer in those moments. So as we pray, pray without ceasing, rejoice always, every day. I know I'm preaching to the choir here because you're watching this devotional, but here we are um, lifting up uh, this time of prayer. So God bless. Have a great day.